Grails, Batman. This is TJ coming at you from GoFigureNews.com, and this is the Holy Grail episode, live, coming at you right now. Oh, oh my goodness. My goodness. <sighs> wow. wow. And I can't even believe that I am bringing this particular figure before you. I can't believe it myself, and I haven't even opened it yet. I've looked at the uh, the packaging, and I have waited many, many, many years for this. And what else could it possibly be than the Hot Toys Gorilla Captain Planet of the Apes 1 6th scale figure? This is the outer packaging. Now, these came out in... 2009. Now I must have been asleep because I missed them. There were a trio of these figures and this is the one of three that I have now added to my large Sideshow Collectibles collection of 12 inch figures. But this one was the one that really stood out to me. Of course, I really would love to add the other two, particularly General Ursus. So if there's anyone out there that has a tip on finding uh, one of these, but at an affordable price, which seems kind of almost impossible since these came out, what, seven years ago now. This is the limited edition collector's edition. One of the things I like about the packaging, and this is actually our first Hot Toys figure to fully review, is the fact that the, uh, the actual titling of the uh, figure and the logo pops from the actual box. So somewhere in the universe, there must be something better than man. Yes, in fact, I have been following this series and I'm going to pop off the top slip cover since I have to say honestly ladies and gentlemen since the late 60s. Now I was a little kid in the 60s um, because I come from the mid 60s and this coming from uh, the French book was all the rage uh, back then and of course the movies led to the TV show, which led to more movies, which led to the cartoon, then which led to the reboot, which led to the uh, continued reboots. Now, the current trilogy is quite exciting, and I am very much looking forward to what seems, in my mind, to potentially be the very, very last installment with the war of the Planet of the Apes, which is due out next year. I couldn't be more excited. I love this particular trilogy. I find it much darker, and if it were to continue, I would be absolutely thrilled. We believe that the NECA figure series has concluded, so to be able to dig back into this uh, series is really fantastic. Now, this is what the inner box looks like which is cool. I mean, it's cool that they went through the trouble of making uh, an outer sleeve, but then with an inner box and then a completely other inner box um, design. So this design spills off into the edge here. Of course, the, the captains and the soldiers, all the gorillas are quite, quite uh, fearless and have an edge. I'm going to open this up like all of these figures they have a velcro window box so this is what you see inside of course there's more printing on the inside here looking really really cool on a distant planet astronaut taylor crashes to find a world inhabited and ruled by talking apes where humans are the feral and hunted it is the captain of the gorilla soldiers who is ultimately responsible for pursuing, capturing, and caging Taylor. So, this is quite exciting to be able to actually see this up close and personal. Now, I am 
people you don't even know the the half of it the reason that i got into collecting in the first place was because of this particular series and of course um way back when the original Mego series came out my um my mom aka santa uh brought me uh the entire um play set uh with the you know with the catapult and the the cave and all the special thing the, the uh the mechanical horse so this is great to see a hot toys figure it comes with an inner plastic which protects the figure and then another layer of inner plastic and then of course the plastic that the figure sits in all the parts are there of course nowadays you can really almost only get this figure on the secondary market it doesn't exist um, retail um, and pretty much you're going to pay upwards of about I'm gonna say the low end $400 for one of these figures and the high end up to almost $600 many of these um, you will only get from Asia of course Hot Toys comes from uh, Hong Kong so um, so though the they are distributed through sideshow collectibles so you will see a lot less of these now this is considered the limited edition so i would i don't know what the edition is if i do figure that out that'll pop up here so i am going to pop the figure out i hate twist ties if you've watched me on youtube so um this is very 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 cool the the um the figure itself has hair um i have sarge watching me very very closely um uh, from right to the side of the camera here of course he is our house mastiff um there is tons and tons and tons of um of flexibility and articulation in this figure i have to look at it i'm going to show you the back as i look at him myself for the first time the head has a lot of flexibility the hair almost has a little bit of a a, a worn um kind of like out in the world um you know sandy sort of effect uh which matches with the the gloves this looks like real leather uh for the extensions of the gloves the hands have articulation the knees have articulation the boots are really cool. They remembered to put that sort of that little divot there for the toe. Um, the jacket and the shirt are tones of purple. So they, um, they got the original right when they uh, decided what color they were going to paint. So of course, there's this big M on the front of the uh, vest here, which is very iconic. I love this sort of like... Um, these like levels um, that are designed into the vest. Here is what he looks like with his arms down. And then you can see him, oh well, see him on one foot if you wanna see him like that. Voila, he's looking at you. And we're gonna put him down here for a second. And um, he's gonna check out the scene the uh, these figures are truly well made i mean there is so much detail in the belt there's a little gun holster and here's the gun that actually goes into the holster the gun itself has quite a bit of detail on it from the ridges on the handle um i don't think it's it's not a working gun or anything oh but the the little uh, back uh, portion, I don't know what you call this, the, uh, the where you cock the gun, I guess, goes up and down. And it's a little teeny tiny piece of plastic. So let me tell you, that is one of those true details. And that fits right into the little gun holster on his side. Let me show you that over here. So it goes right in there. And then there's a little Velcro pouch and that holds it down right there. So voila. Gonna sit him down again the utility belt has some little packets um, with kind of like sat satchels with wallets and that kind of thing he also comes with a backpack 
with a button and um, oops. oops the button let's see here oh the button the button actually opens the backpack opens and I don't know if you can use this inside you got to be really really careful with this because they these these being seven years old actually can be quite fragile the button just popped off this button right here which holds it here um, that does not snap it together it snaps together otherwise there we go but that's going to have to be glued back on there uh, the armbands are great because they made them wide enough to fit around the arms here as you can see i can fit this right around the arm if you bend the arm at the elbow just as the human body would do and voila there's his backpack and i like that quite a bit he comes with a rifle here's his rifle i'm going to have him sit right here we'll have him just be leisurely and lay back we have the rifle, and I think, yes, this is the, uh, the um, package or whatever they call that. And that comes out and goes back in. And does this part move? No. That's pretty much, oh, you can, and then this top part of the rifle here moves back and forth. And it looks like it's on a little bit of a spring. So they did everything that they could to give you a realistic effect with the wood grain and all. So that's kind of cool. And then he comes with a, um, let's see here. This is what they call a man catcher, I believe. This is a stick where the, this little wood part moves up and you create this sort of like almost, this is very wood looking right here, but it's, it's probably vinyl or plastic. And then they caught the humans in this uh, this is very, very clever, the way that they built this. And I didn't know that that came with it. So that's exciting. It also comes with, of course, a stand, which is right here, which reads Planet of the Apes with Gorilla uh, Captain on the front. Again, there's also Gorilla Soldier, Gorilla Captain, Gorilla Soldier. There aren't that many differences between those two figures, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to determine for yourself if you need them both. If you're a completist, of course you will. For me, I'm happy with this figure, and I um, I really don't have the budget for both, but I still am on the hunt for Ursus. So anyway, this is the top part of the stand. It's it's a pretty standard stand, so it's got the holders here that will. Um, hold him at the underarms um, or at the hips let's say so that's the stand and then he comes with which is pretty much the most iconic of all this little flag here and I'm gonna roll it out you can see this is uh, a Planet of the Apes uh, original design this is pretty cool I don't actually know what the numbers or the letters stand for here. Um, this would be all letters. B, E, Z, and then kind of an A, I guess you would say, on, on the end there. But let your freak flag fly. And then he comes with, lastly, uh, let's see here. We've got... Uh, three additional hands. Uh, let's see here. The hands are actually difficult to get out of the box, so it's there. And he also comes with three additional hands, so you can have interchangeable uh, hands for your figure. So this is, again, the limited edition Gorilla Captain. And I am so excited to see this. I think um, they've really built a classic figure. So Hot Toys did a great job in building this, um, this handle for the gun. It's got finger um, designs 
so that it perfectly fits um, and then the other part of the gun will fit into the other hand and you could pose him in many different poses um, and though the point of the Planet of the Apes is that the apes have sort of taken uh, the place of humanity um, I'm going to avoid um, war at all costs until they have to go to war and of course the the apes of 2016-17 are so different than the apes of the era uh, maybe uh, what was it uh, conquest or escape or something like that and uh, which are really really great films you might have seen the original film but you might not have seen the uh, the sequel or the uh, number three or number four would say so have a look at those uh, they have lots of DVD sets out there I am so ecstatic about this figure from Hot Toys it is a really great one